two hours after she was born, it's time for this baby calf to try and stand on her own two feet. That struggle to stay afloat is one this small dairy farm in southern Belgium knows well, with milk prices proving unpredictable and costs remaining high. It's difficult to get a return on your investment and have a long-term perspective. The sudden peaks in 2022, then shocks in 2023, have really strangled some farms. Farmer Aurélie Leclerc counts on subsidies to help her keep production churning. In fact, agriculture funds make up almost a third of the European Union budget, but many are still feeling squeezed. We would like to be able to live without subsidies and just have reasonable prices, but that's not possible right now. For weeks now, farmers have been taking that frustration to the streets, grinding traffic to a halt in Berlin, Brussels and other capitals across the continent. In response, the European Union has moved to ease some green farming rules, curb grain imports from Ukraine and shelve new laws to further restrict pesticide use. Farmers are feeling the impact of the Russian war, inflation, the rising costs of energy, the rising costs of fertilizers. Nevertheless, they work hard every day to produce the quality food we eat. And for this, I think we owe them appreciations and thanks and respect. The problem is, agriculture accounts for more than 10% of EU emissions, and many campaigners fear watering down climate laws will set Europe on the wrong track with elections looming. We see that in many countries that uh, far-right parties are actually instrumentalizing the, the voice of the farmers and it is targeted as environmental legislation. But again, targeting environmental legislation uh, is going to uh, be the main threat to farming eventually. So if we're, if we're not able to make farming less emitting greenhouse gas, uh, we are not going to make it. After a tough winter, farmers are hoping for easier times. You can already hear the birds singing. But to make this industry economically and environmentally sustainable, it looks like some heavy lifting still lies ahead.